Welcome into another edition of the six minute warm up here at the 2021 Toyota US Championships. I'm Haley Maxwell, and so far we've crowned three champions here. And someone that knows a little bit about being crowned champion at the US Championships is joining us this morning, Brian Boitano. How is it in San Francisco? It is fantastic here in San Francisco. It's like a summer day. That's perfect. I'm jealous as the rink side here has been extra chilly during this event. But what's it been like watching from home this year? You know, it's a it's a totally different perspective. I think it's the first time in so many years that I haven't been there live watching it. Um, but I've been enjoying it. It's great getting the perspective of, you know, Terry and Johnny and Tara. Um, and I haven't watched skating, uh, listening to common commentators before, you know, for so many years. So it's been really fun and it's a whole different, you know, aspect of watching skating. So I'm really enjoying it. Very cool. Definitely a different perspective for probably all involved. And, you know, a lot of historic moments have been made this year at the championships, but it's not time for that. It's time for the infamous unhistoric moments. It's time for the blooper reel. Oh, you're on mute. Okay. There we go. Sorry. No, it was good. I love that. Being able to see skaters' personalities off the ice shine through a little bit more, it, it's so awesome. You know, and they it seemed like they're just so appreciative to be able to compete. I mean, it's great that U.S. figure skating is was a, actually able to hold the championships in that way. And it seems like, especially from watching the coverage, seeing it from a different perspective like I have, they've done such a great job and, and the skaters seem to know exactly what to do. And I think that they're appreciative. Yeah, definitely. I think it's such a cool event. And hey, we've got a putting green right outside the arena, something that maybe needs to be in every event. I saw, someone was golfing. I saw someone was golfing out there. That was pretty cool. Definitely. All right. Now it's time to move into what I've been looking forward to. Brian knows best. All right, Brian, we're about to put you to the test here. We've got some everyday figure skating items and elements that you are going okay. to have to rename or really just give it the Brian Boitano jazz here and tell us what All you right. think it should really be called. Let's see what right. we've got. Uh, right, this step. always rem this reminds me of that famous movie, Cutting Edge, um, Toe Pick, because that's Toe Pick. Mm -hmm. And um, I met the actor who was the star in that last year, D.B. Sweeney, and he said he's done 100 movies. And the thing that he'll always be known for is that the word toe pick because that's the big line from the movie he said no matter how many movies i've done everybody always comes up to me and says toe pick oh perfect first one you're on top of it Ooh, um actually it's so funny because jason's face i was hoping that jason would like have a face like he's struggling or something but it's just so easy for him he's like i call it i i call it rubber band man yeah, Jason definitely doesn't help. Making it look easy, but yeah, that's perfect yeah, for that. Right? He's like smiling in the middle of the air and his legs are up by his ears. You know what I mean? It's like, push it a little. <laughs> Ooh, Meryl. Oh, this is, is, um, this is uh, Charlie and Meryl. So um, I think probably Charlie's thinking, I'm wondering, he should actually be a hair product ad so that it like, he you could use a hair product and his hair would stay in that exact way when he's not twizzling. 
Yeah, he's got some voluminous hair. We need to get in with him and figure out what products he is using. <laughs> yeah, he should be, he should endorse hair products. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, oh, look, uh, this is a, a harness. So it's, uh, I would say that's Sarah Hughes, I think. That's Sarah Hughes. So it's, I guess it would be the torture <laughs> device to create an Olympic champion. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Super accurate. Let's see what we've got next. Oh, a lot of people don't know what those are. Those are fancy ones because they're sparkly. So they're blade guards. Um, it always reminds me of um, when you sometimes, when you're a skater and you go into a public session and people don't know how to treat their blades and they're, they're like, sometimes they'll walk out onto the cement, um, like if they're public session skaters or something. So um, that's exactly why we have the blade guards so that we can walk on cement. Perfect. What a fun little tidbit. Now we're running to the end of our six minutes. And before you go, I want to get your prediction and thoughts for today's men's free skate. Oh man, the short program was so good. Um, wow. Um, I am just so impressed uh, with everybody, um, especially the top three. I mean, Nathan, just the way he's, his composure and the way he's skating is so great. And Vincent just blew me away. Um, as well as Jason. So, I mean, I think that, I think that we're going to see some great skating and I really look forward to it. I'm, I'm like nervous sitting at home watching it, but, um, yeah, I just think that our men are so strong. Perfect. Well, I know everyone is looking forward to it. Um, and with that, Brian, thanks so much for joining us fans. If you have not yet checked out the virtual fan experience on the U S figure skating fan zone, today is your final day. Be sure to head there. And that's the end of our six minute warm up.